Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. This one is a Lenovo ThinkPad X280 model and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean and repaste your TPU and the heatsink clean it up. You should be doing your own cleaning once in a while. I would say depending how often you use it, if you're using it 6-7 hours a day every 8 months would be a really good thing to open and clean the heatsink and the thermal paste. It's super easy and it's really good to keep the life span of the CPU and the motherboard on the for a long run. All right, just remember by doing any repaste cleaning, you're not gonna change anything in the system. All is gonna be the same. So I'm gonna power it off, flip it upside down, and go over the tools that I'll be using for this video. Tool number one is an old or new used toothbrush. You need a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. And if you get the pro set they will include you with a tweezers and opening tools. You're gonna to be using a Philip number one. For the opening tool I'll be using a Gitopic and Metallic Gitopics are really suitable to opening cases and power. And very importantly uh, my alcohol is running dry. And 99%, 98% isopropylic alcohol. And second most important one is a workshop towel. Grab yourself one sheet of the workshop towel. And the reason I always say use the workshop towel, don't use any microfiber towels, anything like that, is because as soon as you spray an alcohol on top of this one and you clean the CPU, this will rip apart and it will not damage the components on the board. All right. Now you need a good thermal paste. For this brand, I'll use the Arctic MX4, but you can use an Arctic MX6. If you want, that's the new one. If you want to go over the board and over the budget, go with the Thermal Grizzly Fire Nut. These are one of the expensive one, but they're one of the best out there. In this video, I'm going to go with MX4. And what else do we need from here? I think that should be all. So let's get into it. So first thing first, we're going to start loosening up the screws, the screws only get loosened up. You can't pull them up as they have a little security lock on the other side. So you're gonna loosen up all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. Right now that we remove, uh, I mean remove not, but loosen up all the screws. We're gonna start from one corner by the hinge. Then we're gonna lift up this cover, bring it up. Once you brought this one up, put your finger right underneath. Run your fingers right across to the mid back. Just holding it like a push on this side and with your finger pushing it upward. Like that. Work your stuff on the side. Left and right. Okay. Maybe I didn't loosen up the screw too much. There you go. A few more rotations, I think. And you wanna bring it up. And from the back towards the front, because the front has a little clip that they go right out, they hook right on the bottom. Right now, you can take a toothbrush and take it outside and clean up the dust mesh right in here and blow some dry air to clean up the excess of dust that builds up in the dust mesh. And down here, we can see the fan. The fan it is clogged up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can zoom in, maybe. It is the airflow is not that great, so it can get better. So we're gonna fix that. In this video, I'm gonna do it without disconnecting the battery. So you have to just be careful. You can just put a workshop towel in here. If you flimsy, you're gonna drop a key it's stuff on the board. In here, there's a protection on the board, so you don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna remove the screws on here. They have a seal lock. Just loosen them up. They're on the heatsink. All right, we're gonna grab a tweezers and we're gonna slide slide this connector towards the fan. Just grab it from the corner and slide it back. Let me see if I can see it. It's kind of tough, wiggle it around, and it should disconnect itself. There you go. Right now, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna lift it up from here. I need to rotate to the wall here, and there we go. And there we have it. Now we just remove it without disconnecting the battery, and it's very safe and okay to work on it. 
and there's an old thermal paste that is dried up. The second die doesn't need a thermal paste or anything like that because it's called a PCH chip. It's not part of the CPU. It just works for another file transfer, everything like that. That's why they have a tiny dent in here. So it doesn't heat up the other chip. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it outside, blow, uh, use a toothbrush here and clean up the fans in here with a toothbrush and blow some air through here towards the fan so you can remove the excess of the uh, dust from there towards the outside. And also you can clean up the dust right on the, this end right there. Just clean it up nicely and I'll be back in a sec. Now, I clean it up, if you can look at it, it's nice and clean with a toothbrush, it's spinning freely, so it's not clogged up or anything like that. And the other side, it's nicely clean with a toothbrush only, and I blow some air with a compressed air. All right, now we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the workshop towel here. I just got a very little, so I don't know why it came out so little, but I'm just gonna clean the excess of the thermal paste from the CPU and then clean up the excess of the thermal paste from the heat tip. Now, I'm gonna grab another sheet, put extra, a second pass. There we go. Now all you need to do is to put the thermal paste right on. So I'm gonna put one line on the main CPU die right there. Don't worry, the thermal paste is not conductive, so you can put a little more, but it's better to have a little more than have two little. And we are gonna put the heat sink down, align the screw holes, hold it in place in the from the middle. You can cross screw them or follow the numbers one, two, three, four. As long as you cross screw them, you're fine. You don't have to follow the numbers as long as you cross screw this one. So, so that way the thermal paste spreads evenly across the CPU die. Once you have that one in, all you want to do is you want to slide down the fan connector inside the jack right there and just pinch it right in there. Make sure it goes all the way in nicely. There we go. And it's in place. So you see, you can do this one without disconnecting the battery, but I'll make another video how to disconnect the battery. And to finish it off, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, make sure the front end comes in 45 degree or 65 degree inside the case, and bring it down, hold it down, and then you want to tighten up the screws from it. Starting from one corner, I always do half. Don't tighten up to all the way in, just do a little bit and then come back and do second pass on top. If you see any gap opening, you can just pinch them together, you make a tiny click and it will go to its place. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.